Hi guys, it's Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube with a treat cup that I have made a bunch of. And I'm going to show you a little cameo of the Trinity blending brushes as well. Trinity Stamps sent me a bunch of goodies and this cup die is the one that I really wanted to use and I was really excited to make these. I have a specific project that I wanted to make them for. So I'll show you the dies. They come with lots of little decorative parts and then there's a little package that has the cups and the lids and these are mini cups. They're teeny tiny ones. I'm guessing since I don't drink coffee that for they're for like shots of espresso or something. But the package comes with 10 little bags, so you can put your little things in bags. And it also comes with little stoppers. And these fit inside the hole in the lid, and then you can decorate them as well. So I start off by cutting out a bajillion, gazillion things out of a bunch of different colors so that I can mix and match them. And I also wanted to put candy corns inside of mine, so I made a candy corn out of the little jar die that's in the set because a jar is supposed to be for a little shaker thing for something for coffee and I just cut off the little nubs on the side so it was a rounded triangle because they looked very candy corn shaped to me and then I colored them candy corn style with just a couple quick Copic markers. The project that this is for is for Toastmasters. You might know I'm a member of Toastmasters and something we do at each one of our meetings is something called table topics in which the people that participate get to give a little impromptu two minute speech on something. And they don't know what the question is. They get asked some random thing. And I'm kind of known for doing weird random things sometimes when it's my turn to lead table topics. So I wanted to have a little goodie to give them because I do that sometimes. I bribe people to play along by having something that I've made or that I've baked or I buy some little, little tchotchke thing. And if they participate, they get a thing. So that's why I thought I'd make some of these cute little cups and then they would potentially get a cup full of candy. So I'm assembling all these. You can put the eyeballs back in and I started gluing the eyeballs back in with the connect glue and I was using the little teeny tiny um, nib on the quick stick pick em up stick thing. Yeah, whatever that thing is called. That's my connect glue in my right hand and I have these little tweezers in my left hand because all these little parts are very very tiny. So You'll have to kind of figure out a system for sorting them out if you do a whole bunch at once like I do. This was a little bit much, but there you go. So there's one of the little faces and you can arrange them all different ways. I just layered them up. And then there's this coffee stamp set and I'll link that and all the other supplies of course in the doobly-doo. But this one has tons of words that you can use for coffee type sentiments. So I had to look for something non-coffee related so that I could stamp them on the little tag die that comes with this die set. And I decided on have a hug because my little smiley faces were hugging the candy corns. So I figured they could have a hug and hug the candy corns. Now I am guessing since the people in my club tend to be a little more on the not candy eating type of people. They're a little healthier than me. So they could give this to someone else who wants to have a hug. So I thought that would be something they could re-gift if they didn't actually want to eat the candy itself. So I got all of those stamped out. All of this took me a long time to put together. So set yourself aside some time. I want to show you real quickly the brushes from Trinity. There are these that are a little older. They've had these for a little bit and they have a stand on the bottom of them and they have little caps that put a lid on them, which is great. But the new ones are white bristles. Oh my gosh. And they have the stand on the bottom so you can stand them up because I don't really have places that I can put them, but I have a little shelf where I can stand them all vertically, which is going to be perfect. And I love the fact that they have the little caps on them so I don't lay them down on something and make a mess on a project just because I forgot that there was ink on them. So there's my little shelf next to Bob Ross where my brushes stand. And I thought I'd show you the brushes with the this little set of stencils and it's a two-step stencil and in order to put them on one of these I'm not going to use it for my project but I wanted to show you how the brushes work and a stencil pair like this one because it has two parts to it and you basically would stamp each half of the coffee bean in a different ink so I decided 
that I would do a light color on top of a yellow background. And if I were doing coffee themed ones, this would be really perfect for that. And then just smooshing the ink through the stencil using the brush. And I like the fact also that these brushes have a little bit of a pointed end on them. The pairing of them, you kind of need to turn them to make sure that they line up the way that you want so you get it face up the right direction. And since I have all that lovely washi tape marking things down, I can actually just pull, pull up the, uh, the old stencil, the first stencil, and plop the other one in its place right there in the washi tape. And then the two of them should knock on wood. Now, you know, we're going to hope that that works, should line up just perfectly with the color that was already there. So I'm going to go through and first do the same color as I had done before. I want this to be really subtle. And so I'm doing the same color. And of course, this would just be uniform colored beans, little coffee beans. So I took a little bit of red and very, very lightly, I just added a coat of red across all of it so that one half of each of the beans would have a slightly different darker color to it. And there we can see that it actually worked. So these sets of stencils, this is my first pair of stencils that I've ever seen. I've seen the, like pictures of them online but I haven't actually had any to use since I don't use stencils very often and it was kind of fun to play with and see how that works. So now it is assembly time, since I've got everything die cut, my little faces are all assembled, and I just put a little bit of double stick tape, this is the Be Creative tape, put a little bit on one side, and then whatever side is gonna be in front, there's a side that's notched and a side that's not. You can decide which one that is. You want the whole end of it to have adhesive all the way out to the very edge so it sticks down firmly. And I've lined them up with the seam in the cup, because a, a cup, course has a seam where it's assembled and then I decided to put my little face on the opposite side so I didn't have the seam showing. I used some dimensional adhesive to add my little face on there and then more of the double stick tape to put the have a hug tag on it. You could also put all that right over top of the seam if your stuff is tall enough that it covers all of that but my seam is around the back. And then when you've got the lids on, you can actually decorate all of those little stoppers to put inside. And I've glued two little leaves on there because there's little, there's all kinds of little doodads in the die set that you can do fun things with. Now here's where the crazy fun came in. I found a bag of googly eyes. I haven't used googly eyes in years, but they seemed to work on this really well. So I, yeah, glued my little googlies on there. Aren't they cute? And then, of course, I had to put all of the candy corns in and all of the little stoppers in the edges. And there was a little bit of candy corn left, so I get to have a few snacks. Fortunately, I don't like candy corn all that much, so a few candy corns is all I needed. So it was great to be able to put them all in these, be able to give them away. So the, here's the little guys in the bags. And what I've done for my questions is put them in circles on the bottom. So in a couple weeks when I'm ready to do this table topics and lead it, I will be all ready to go with some crazy questions for people to share about. So how fun is that? Cute little favors. You can put all different kinds of stuff in here and you can also do the faces different ways. You can just put flowers on the outside. Lots of different things that you can do with these cute little cups. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. There's always more stuff over on the blog if you want still pictures to pin, etc. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.